Hey, good day, good evening, guys. Buenos dias, Ohio, Gazimus, depending on which part of the world you are in. I wanted to do this video to share with you guys some of my most recent discoveries that I've had. And ever since I started, you know, now that we're 245 subliminal messages in, I've really started to understand and discover the subconscious mind and become more aware on a whole nother level which has allowed me to combine in my my other understandings and studies to where I've really started to connect some very powerful pieces everyone and I don't want to boast about myself or brag about myself but unfortunately because of the the, the where the industry is at nowadays, I am going to just real quick introduce myself for all of you new people or new subscribers. Like I said, when I first started my self-help studies of quantum physics, natural psychology, and the science of life like Albert Einstein and Aristotle and some others that studied the science of life or the science of the universe, there was only four, four people, believe it or not, on YouTube at the time. You know, there was Abraham Hicks, Bob Proctor, Ty Lopez, Tony Robbins was really big at the time, and that was about it. You know, there was not really a whole lot of other people, and if you did, you, you better have been able to back up your mouth with what you were saying. And I'm very grateful, like I said, when I was in college about seven, eight years ago, you know, you know, 19 little honor graduate, honor uh, student, Luke, Luke, Luke Takiyama, or say Luke, I dropped out because I was already more successful at the time than people that had their eight-year degree. And then, you know, fast forward, you know, obsessed or just completely focused on self-improvement, you know, eight years later, I went through, you know, cleaning in and scrubbing, you know, where that boy went, you know, from cleaning and scrubbing shit off of toilets and pushing in carts in 115 degree weather in Arizona to now I'm very grateful, you know, for the last year I've been establish, establishing the international nonprofit where I really took my success as an international, you know, marketer and advertiser with businesses all around the world and I combined that with the nonprofit where we, we travel around the world and we are, what, what we're doing is we're uniting cultures and countries with other countries the what you won't see on the news or the propagated news right we want to show people the loving and the good side of these countries and when we go you know we work with governors we work with councilmen we work with leaders of every country you know and now I'm really starting to focus more on the YouTube side of things right more of the educational and technical side of things which really is where more of my strengths are you know how i was able to self-improve through 30 jobs and traveled the world you know play a father figure role for four beautiful children and, and, a, and a long list of accomplishments like i said i don't want to boast beyond this beyond the main points of what got me to where i'm at and it all came from my understanding and guys <laughs> Studying and growing out a long beard and just sitting around all day sipping your tea and talking about your different theories and your different, you know, radical, radical ideas without actually testing them out is completely different. You know, there's hands-on experience, aka practical physics, and then there's just a bunch of, you know, we're just going to memorize a bunch of equations and numbers that's never going to actually do anything physics. You know, there's psychology where we're going to go to school for four or eight years and memorize a bunch of, you know, pharmaceutical prescriptions for the same family that owns all of the, the news, all of the bought-off politicians and the media, right? The same family. Though This is going to be a more advanced video, okay? And by that, I mean I'm people that already are awakened, people that already truly understand and love themselves from within, a.k.a. your life purpose, right? We're all 400 trillion to one miracles all of life vibrates on 528 hertz the love frequency and when you truly understand and love yourself from within you let go of all these religious and societal dogmatic masks and you truly understand and love yourself from within then you discover your true one single 400 trillion to one voice you're able then to consciously awaken and awaken and connect to all of life 
Also, your consciousness, right? This is for more advanced people that are conscious, right? You're not just, you know, I don't have, oh, here he is. Here's Fred. You know, you're, you're, you actually have the wheels in your head spinning, right? You're not running around, reacting, and just consuming all of the media owned by this one criminal family I just talked about. And guys, I will gladly share you all the links from credible investigators and an interview actually from before Corona actually happened revealing how the, the Rockefellers and the, these families, these criminal families, created Corona, and then they decided to market it out with all of their dying media and dead news. And I call it that because people are starting to awaken, right? Consciousness, right? Just with your conscious breathing, you can do what Wim Hof does where you run around in snow in your underwear. That's just conscious breathing. But then there's conscious thinking, right? Which is the exact thinking and power that this one family uses to control all of the other people that are running around, you know, and don't, one, they're not thinking, they're not awakened or conscious, consciously living, but they also don't even understand and love themselves, or they just do whatever their religion tells them to, or whatever society tells them to, and they never even get a really embrace. It's very sad, the 400 trillion to one superpowers, I call them, that we have. An Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly. There are 50,000 people that could be doing what I do, but even better. But enough of that. For all, and don't freak out, right? If, if you're not, you're like, well, I don't even, I'm still discovering myself, kind of, you know, figuring myself out. I'm still kind of getting used to this whole conscious thing. Well, don't worry. Because I guarantee you, you know, by the end of this 20, 30 minute video, you're, you'll understand that your life's never going to be the same again. And I, like I said, guys, I really want to focus more on this part of the nonprofit. I am not going to be making our social media platform application this month. And that's because for all of you uh, entrep entrepreneurial or people that understand what's going on right now with cryptocurrency and the economies, I really am going to maximize that for I can then take those funds. And I want to develop a subliminal message or subliminal affirmation application for your guys' phones, you know, iOS and Android that's going to be really special. And I'm also going to actually, within this next month or two, start working on an algorithm, an actual subliminal message robot. That's going to be an AI subliminal message. And it's going to be very special for our YouTube channel. And I was meditating, guys. I really started to realize, you know, there was a quote. There was a quote that said, our subconscious mind has... 30,000 times more power than our conscious mind. And I began to think. I said, you know what? Our, our subconscious mind is 90%, right, of, of, who, of what we are. Our body is a reflection of the subconscious mind in many senses, right? And like I said, this is advanced, guys. A lot of people are going to have to pause this video, and a lot of people are going to have to stop and really be thinking about this. And that's good. I want you to become aware and understand what I'm feeling and seeing. And then at the end, the second part, I'm going to really introduce how we're going to implement this into our subliminal messages, right? And, you know, I actually got this tattoo that's a correlation between time. I'm very grateful. I, I, I had a very good understanding of time early on in my life. And guys, our imagination, your imagination, right? Your visualization and imagination is what directs what's, what religion calls it before it was adulterated by man. It's actually correct, right? The Holy Spirit, right? The Holy Spirit, I call it infinite life. And scientifically, we now understand that the trees, the plants, the animals, all vibrate on 528 hertz, right? The rainbows <laughs> and the, the galaxy, the galaxy vibrates on 528 hertz. They put an instrument, and it's very important that we transmit these frequencies right on the, the exact decimals and properly, or else it's not going to be five, the miracle frequency. But the scientists that actually, you know, properly transmitted a 528 hertz frequency into an oil spilled ocean, and the very next day, ocean life was returning to the oil spilled water. And the skeptics showed up and they tested the parts per million in the, the water. And it was, <laughs> they were like, holy shit, like, this is, this is the real deal. 
You know, John Lennon was going to put 528 hertz in his music before they capped him. But in just four years, just four years, nearly a billion people have listened to the 520, the, the miracle frequencies, the love frequencies. And that's why they say 963 hertz connect the universe, right? The universe, because 528 hertz, the vibration of love in life itself, or excuse me, not life, love or the miracle frequency or creation frequency and vibration goes everywhere life is. It goes out into the galaxy, out into space. And our imagination and our visualization is what directs this. Our thoughts that direct our emotions is what puts out and moves Holy Spirit, transmutates and directs this vibration in infinite life. And for, like I said, this is a more advanced video, but real quick, guys, our physical bodies are an illusion. Our physical bodies are an illusion, right? When you, there is only energy. Our body is a molecular structure that vibrates accordingly to our thoughts. The physical world is an illusion. This is what awakening is, right? You truly understand and love yourself from within as a soul. On the inside, your soul, which is energy, right? And then your consciousness is not physical. Your, your consciousness, your thoughts create the neural pathways in the physical brain. <laughs> okay, guys? It's a very backwards world that this one family has manipulated and created, right? Our thoughts, our conscious thoughts, and our one voice when you awaken tells our subconscious and our neurons where to go. And then our body then lastly responds as the faithful servant that's vibrating accordingly to our energy and our thoughts. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, guys. There is... A, a, a scientist named Claude, San, Claude Shannon said it perfectly, or he discovered it perfectly. He discovered that there was exactly like computer coding, computer coding in our DNA, in all of life, life. And, and our, our thoughts are what reprogram this. Our subconscious minds, your subconscious mind, has 50,000, some experts say 100,000 thoughts a day. And these are just, so if you're working out all day, you're working all day, maybe today you're, you know, gaming all day, you're reading all day, you're um, listening to subliminal messages and watching, binge watching something, you're watching, you know, maybe Planet Earth. I like Planet Earth. I know we all don't like Planet Earth, but whatever. You're then 50,000 50, to 100,000 thoughts. You have even more, hundreds of thousands of more thoughts just resting in your subconscious mind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is why the subconscious mind is 30,000 times more powerful than this. You know, I heard, I'm not going to bag on Bob Proctor, like I said. He understands the creative mind pr pretty good. And I'm not going to disrespect all the lives that he's changed. Now, I'm very grateful to be where I'm at now in my life, in my studies, where I'm now teaching many of the mentors that I grew up, you know, with. But with that being said, you know, I used to live by a quote, and I just kind of gave it away, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say who, but that said, we have enough power in our hands to light up an entire city. I mean, our, our subconscious mind and our minds, I mean, the molecular structure of our body, how it's vibrating and moving, and our, 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 our minds can make a supercomputer look like a toy. We have enough energy to light up an entire city. I used to think that. But last, the, over these, these last nights, especially last night, I started to realize, no, 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 no. Our subconscious minds, when we tap into the subconscious mind, we have enough power to light up an entire planet. Guys, guys, okay, our thoughts, I'm going to get very, this is, this is, this, we're, we're just, I'm just, that was just kind of the introduction. Our thoughts, like I said, create the physical world, right? Our, our, our consciousness, our consciousness creates the, 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 the subconscious, thus the, the physical brain, thus the vibration 
and our body, right? That's how subliminal messages work, right? So therefore, I kind of hinted at this in my last video. The one, right? I don't care what your what uh, your adult. Well, I don't care what adulterated religion calls it. The one, right? The first creator, the one. His their consciousness, the consciousness of the first creator, just like you and I, through thinking, through thinking, was able to then direct the vibration of 528 hertz. That goes, I just told you, goes through all of life, even the galaxies and the rainbows. The one or the original first creator was then able, through his thinking, just like you and I, to then manifest and turn planet Earth into a living organism, just like our bodies. Oh my goodness, a lot of people just connected the dots like I did. <sighs> This is amazing. This is amazing, guys. Our, our, our thoughts, your thoughts, your conscious thoughts, create the, create and reprogram your subconscious mind, which we can do through repetition, right? The subliminal messages, thus creating the physical brain, and our bodies then respond. And then our vibration changes. The one or the creator was a consciousness just the vibration of love that they had just like you and I used to create more life and how life keeps evolving they were able to physically then manifest through thought and the vibration of love and creation the physical earth holy shit but we, like religion says, or the adulterated, censored version of religion that this one family works alongside, says it perfectly. The unadulterated version says it perfectly. We were created in the Creator's highest image. I'm not saying we're more powerful. How you see the Creator, the One, is how you respond to all of life. How I see the Creator, how you see the Creator, the One, the original Creator, is how you're going to see your brother, your sister, all of everybody. Think, meditate on that. But we are not more powerful than the Creator. We are the Creator. And people now understand, I don't mean, God, I don't mean physically. No, 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 we're not, we're not here. We're here, right? We're, this is an advanced, more advanced video, and if you're not, don't don't freak out. I'm not insulting you. You'll get there. However, without going into that, guys, we are the creator, right? Vibrationally, we have the. We we are. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle, and when you awaken and you become conscious, right? You discover your inner voice. You discover that you can reprogram your subconscious mind. Thus, the physical brain and the body, that's a molecular structure, right? Energy is all that there is. And just like Claude Shannon says, you take these string codings, or the string code, the DNA, computer coding that's in our DNA, and you rewrite it. Amazing, right? So, we are all individual creators, right? We are all individual creators, like the one. That's why we were created. We are like guardians, right? We are like guardians in a sense right we are the highest form of life there is we have imagination perception intuition reason memory right and the ability to think consciously with our one voice our awake voice and god we can create entire planets this is what being a creator is this is what being a guardian is and we have our own individual uniqueness that we contribute as a creator Amazing guys, right? Now, we, see, this is when you truly awaken. This is what true awakening is. This is when you realize, I am not waiting for the universe to give me a sign. I am the universe. Fuck all the, excuse me, forget religion. Religion is including astrology and all this universal. Oh, the universe is going to give me a sign and the universe is, it's a the, everything's happening for a reason. You decide why it's happening. You think. You decide why it's happening. You make the next move through thinking. Our, 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 our thoughts and our energy are thinking. 
is what moves the gravitational planets. The, the planets move accordingly to our thoughts. I just told you energy goes everywhere. 520. The, the infinite spirit or Holy Spirit goes everywhere in space. Our, your imagination or our thinking is moving the shifts of the planet. I'm not going to sit around waiting for a car to tell you which way this one criminal family is moving the planets. Holy shit, guys. We are the universe. You know, planet Earth is like the physical body. It's like our physical body, right? It's an illusion. It's a manifestation of our consciousness or the one's consciousness. We are the universe. We are the creator. The universe with the sun, Mars, the moon, Venus, all of the planets, if they just move, if they just move by a fraction of a... If they just move off by the slightest inch Boom. Goodbye, Earth. Goodbye, universe. There are... Guys, the universe... The universe is what directs gravity, is what, in a sense, the subconscious mind of the creator. The galaxy... The galaxy beyond our universe is more of the, our, the consciousness, right? These are the correlations I want you to understand. So, we have to, we have to, sub, subliminal creators, you know, 75% of them, you know, just like when I first started off, I will humbly admit it, uh, they were just they were just subliminal affirmations, right? Very basic affirmations. You know, I am positive. I am grateful. I am more grateful every second. I am now so on. Then I, towards about a, the hundredth video, through you know always wanting to improve and apply all my, you know, three pillars I call them or my self studies of quantum physics, psychology, and the science of life. By the hundredth video. I was, you know, kind of like maybe 20 to 15 percent of subliminal creators, you know, tapping into like we do now with our subliminal messages. I was really tapping into energy and vibration. You could go read through all the benefits of my videos. And I was really starting to bring in 528 hertz, 432 hertz. I was really starting to use the mind, which creates energy to stimulate you know force fields and magnetic fields to speed up our results i was really starting to reach out to you know angels and other dimensions to speed up the results i was even you know reaching out to other dimensions and just getting really creative right with all of this more advanced things and you have to be very careful there are some you know sapien medicine just got exposed for buying fake likes comments and subscribers when he makes a video called the truth factor you know, and I'm not going to get into Quotable Integrity, which released the truth factor, you know, just like a week or two ago, <laughs> right? Funny coincidence. But a lot of subliminal creators, guys, and this is why I, I, I don't try to attack the industry. I don't try to attack the problem. I want to focus on the good. But be careful. There are a lot of subliminal creators on more than just one drug, right? More than just one drug. And they're, they're pulling some freaky shit out freaky shit out of their butt and they're reaching into some dark dark dimensions some other realms unnatural realms and oh my goodness but why why i just told you the vibration of love is curing diseases all around the world any swine or darkness is killed instantly these people are fools. You're 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 more foolish than the monkey for playing around with that stuff when you don't have to. It's ignorance. It's ignorance. What is mental ignorance? It creates fear. What is understanding? 
putting in the actual time instead of being a lazy, you know, I wanted to drug out all day, you actually put in the time to understand. Understanding mentally is the vibrational love. It is creation itself. The more you understand, the more awareness you have. That's why in our videos, I'm very grateful and proud that our subliminals, our subliminals, we utilize 528 hertz. We utilize the vibration of love. We utilize the angels and the, the absolute most powerful unadulterated force in the galactic universe and now through understanding guys which is what i'm sharing with you right i really want to tap into even more of this natural natural occurring power that we have like i said guys we have enough power enough energy in our subconscious mind to light up an entire planet and this is where what I was getting at. My point was subliminal creators, and we've been we've been doing it backwards. We've been making subliminal messages backwards. We've been focusing on Earth. We've been focusing on our physical body. We've been we've been focusing. We've been limiting ourselves. We place limitations. It's sad. We've been limiting ourselves on Earth. Earth is an illusion. I just told you it's like our physical bodies. We need to reach out to the universe. And when we when we think when we think right guys when we think on a universal level because guys I just told you we are omnipresent. We are omnipresent. We are the creator. We are the creator. The universe is the subconscious mind, right? Of the creator in a sense. Or the galaxy and the plants, like I, not the planets, like I mentioned, they move accordingly, right? And how does that occur? I just told you, the universal spirit, holy spirit, whatever you want to call it, right? The vibration of love goes out to the universe and the galaxy. We, the physical world, the physical body is an illusion. We can vibrationally, with our consciousness, right? Our consciousness is not physical. It's just like the galaxy. Our subconscious mind is what programs the physical brain. Our thoughts create the neurons in the physical brain. Therefore, we, when I say we, I'm not referring to this, right? You now understand. We need to start thinking, creating subliminals, and we need to start thinking and living in space. Why? When we start thinking and we start living in space, we are now accessing unlimited power. There is no gravity. There is no gravity in space. If you were to go to space, there is no gravity for a reason. There is, if, if, if there is no physical illusion. There is no physical limitations. There are no physical limitations in space to, to where we don't need gravity. If there's no gravity, oh my God, guys, people don't understand. We, we can manifest at will. We, we, the power, our subconscious minds and the power we would have access to in space without gravity being there holding us down. Oh my God. And guys, microchips, microchips, right? Microchips for all of us, all of us awakened people, right? A microchip goes into our minds it's not going to give us superhuman powers. We're not going to be able to read minds, which we already can do telepathically if through our intuition and other, you know, natural naturality. But anyway, it's not going to, it's not going to, the chip, what the chip is going to do is connect us with technology or more mental activity than physical activity. For example, you will no longer have to walk and turn on your air conditioning. You will not even have to touch your phone to do it. You will not even, we will not even, 
need to turn on our water with our phone. We can just do it now through the chip in our mind. We can now just we are now connected to where there's less physical activity. That's what's going to occur when we have the chip. Now I just told you we are the creator, right? We are the universe. We are the galaxy. Our consciousness is the galaxy. Our our subconscious mind in many senses is like the universe. This is how we break the time space barrier. This is we we are genet we are created to break the time space barrier, but we've got to start thinking first, including our subconscious mind in order to get to space. And the chip, guys, like I just told you, is basically going to eliminate, is going to get rid of this, and it's going to connect us more and get rid of physical activity, which is an illusion, right? Elon Musk and these other, these other guys are, tr are wanting to get us to the moon. And people don't realize, guys, now you understand how powerful this is. When we get to the moon, when we get to space, for all of us consciously thinking and awakened people, our intuition, our imagination, our perception, our memory, our common sense or reason or thinking, our, right, our higher faculties that no other form of life has as the creator, our, our higher faculties and our ability to think. When we get to space, oh my God, we are going to... Our imagination is, the power of our imagination is going to just skyrocket. Our intuition is going to skyrocket. Our memory, reason, and perception, and willpower, excuse me, willpower, and our focus is going to go straight to the moon, literally. There is no gravity. There is no, there is no, we are now free of the, of the physical mass barrier of mass and gra gravity, mass and gravity, we are now, we are space. We are space now, and we are now gravitationally free. We are free. We are now letting go completely of the physical weight, the mass. And we are now in correlation directly to time and space. So when we go to the moon, Oh my God, guys, it's going to be amazing. When we get to space, it's going to be amazing for all of us awakened and conscious people. Holy. So what I want to do now, what I want to do now is from now on, I'm going to start making our subliminal messages, affirmations to where we are now moving our thoughts and our subconscious mind to where we are now accessing space. We are now in space. We are now letting go of gravity, right? And I really want to go watch the movie Interstellar again because I would love to dissect that and explain that in more detail and, you know, where where they were right and where they were wrong. But guys, we want we need to start living in space. And this is the part that quantum physics they're missing the subconscious mind. This is where, this is where we've been going wrong. And I'm very grateful to have mass to understand the subconscious mind now. Where, where, where we're at in my meditations and all the subliminals and this constant obsession with improving and understanding more and more. To where my, like I said, now we understand the missing piece is the subconscious mind, and with our subliminal messages and affirmations. I want to start allowing our thoughts and our subconscious minds to access space. And when we get out to space, when we are in space, I want to start utilizing the, the various planets, right? The sun's energy. I want to start utilizing the sun. I want to start utilizing um, the various planets and their, 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 um, their energy and their, 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 their tilts and the vibrations that they're letting off and the energy that they're letting off, I want to start utilizing this. I want to start bending the planets. I want to start bending with the sun. I want to start bending with the stars and the space energy 
and the power that we have out there, and the, our ability to bend time at miraculous speeds, all through the vibration of love and all through the vibration of creation, of course, in a naturally occurring way. And when we achieve and start to build our subconscious minds with this power, we are going to have access thus to even more power, the, the power to light up an entire planet naturally. And I'm very excited, guys. And I look forward to where we're going to go, you know, 100, 100 subliminal messages from now. You know, 200 subliminal messages from now. I, I, I don't want to get too extreme, but I feel once we collectively start working together, we, we could possibly create an actual star. We could possibly create, eventually, if we can... I, I feel we would have to actually be in space to possibly create an entire planet. Because when you are in space, guys, you don't need the law of inspired action, right? One of the 12 universal laws, right? Law of attraction is just one of the 12 universal laws. But the law of inspired action, right? This is why you have to take action. You can, all of these instant manifestation, you know, hoax and scammers out there, throw them in the trash where they belong. We can through meditation and through the law of attraction and through reprogramming our subconscious minds at amazing rates now and through thinking and through truly understanding and putting in the time to develop ourselves, we can attract and we can manifest at unbelievable speeds through action still to some degree. But when we get out to space, there is no gravity, there is no limitation of inspired action. We can manifest at will. This is how planet Earth was created in seven days. This is, or the religious text says it, but this is how the original creator was able to consciously direct through the vibration of love that, like we do, create planet Earth so quick. There was no limitations of the law of inspired action and thus karma or return to where when we can get out to space, we can manifest our will, our intuition, oh my God, will be off the charts, oh, our memory, our willpower, our folk, oh my God. And I want to start making, like I said, our subliminal affirmations, space subliminals. And we are going to start with our thoughts and our galactic energy and universal energy, since we are the creator, we are omnipresent. We are going to start moving the planets accordingly, and we are going to start... I don't want to give out too many details because this is very powerful things. I have to stop myself there before I start to go too far into my um, my thought process of how we're going to do this, how we're going to go to space, bring back space, how we're going to live in space, how we're going to manifest accordingly multi-dimensional levels in space now that we have the time space or mass barrier broken. I'm very excited, guys. The subconscious mind, the subconscious mind is so, so, so powerful naturally. Naturally, it is so, so powerful. It, 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 people, if you, we, are, we, are, we are now starting to understand this, guys. We have beautiful times ahead of us. Like I said, I want to still program. Well, this kind of changes that, too. But for as of now, I still want to, uh, uh, after the Bitcoin halving, I want to, I want to still make our first AI subliminal message robot that's going to be really special. It's going to be just like you and I, a living, a living artificial intelligence that's going to be able to thus help us reprogram our subconscious minds. But now that we're living in space, yeah, that's going to go to, a, we're going to have two AIs. We're going to have a space AI and we're going to have a, AI uh, subliminal robot. I'm very excited, guys. I need to get to work. I need to start making some subliminal affirmations. I love you all. I wish you the very best. The final frontier is here, guys. We are getting there. This is just beginning.